I was like numb. I've been like a kind of nightmare for the 13 months. Started November 19, finished the 30th of December, you know? And the nightmare started start when I saw the face of the prosecutor, and it ended when I saw the face of my wife. I was brutally taken from my world as I knew it. Ripped from my family, my friends, my communities, from Renault, Nissan, and Mitsubishi, and the 450,000 women and men who comprise those companies. The feeling of hopelessness was profound. And every day for over 130 days in detention, I fought for my innocence. When I was finally granted bail for the first time, and so the opportunity to share with you all what I intend to share today, I was restlessly thrown back in solitary confinement within 24 hours, a confinement that flies in the face of global and United Nations standards of justice. It will get worse for you if you don't just confess. The prosecutor told me repeatedly, and this has been taped. You can look at the tapes because the tapes are being held. You can see how many times they came up about, you know, you just confess and it will be over. And if you don't confess, not only we're going to go after you, we're going to go after your family. Unfortunately, there was no trust. And some of our Japanese friends thought the only way to get rid of the influence of Renault on Nissan is to get rid of me which unfortunately they were right. I am innocent of all the charges, all of them. I left Japan because I wanted justice. That's why I left Japan. I didn't run from justice. I want justice because justice is the only way I'm going to establish my reputation and the only way what I've done during my life is going to be recognized to its value. And if I can't, don't get it in Japan, I'm going to get it somewhere else.